It's all just talk unless there is a technical plan to organize and use resources to accomplish abundance. What follows are some of the many approaches the Venus Project provides for the entire social spectrum. Today, more than half our population lives in cities that are polluted, dangerous, and waste energy. What we have to do is design a city as a living system, as an organism, as a university, that all of the cities of the future will be university cities that grow, that continue to exchange ideas. The city will have a built-in transportation system so there are no accidents and no unthought out areas of technology. Medicine, botany, agriculture, the total system. One planning system. It is actually better to build newer cities from the ground up than to restore and maintain old ones. Fresco uses a systems approach to designing new cities they're desirable and pleasant places to live. The notion that intelligent overall planning implies mass uniformity is absurd. Cities would be uniform only to the degree that they would require far less materials, save time and energy, and be flexible enough to allow for innovative changes while preserving the local ecology. If we design our cities to meet human needs, you don't have most of the problems that are prevalent today. In the Central Dome, you have child care, schools, dental care, medical care. In the production and design of the cities, we work out one-eighth of the city system, and then we reproduce it instead of have architects design each building and each structure which is a tremendous waste of energy and talent. When working on solving the housing problem for all the world's people, construction techniques would be vastly different from those employed today. Extruded and self-erecting structures could revolutionize and speed up construction processes. These lightweight, durable apartments could be produced as continuous extrusions and then separated and positioned in place by the mega-machines. The outer shells of these efficient structures serve as photovoltaic generators and heat concentrators.